It's always good practice to work from inside of Lightroom anytime you want to creatively edit an image that's in the Lightroom catalog. However, if you were to make changes to a photograph that is in the Lightroom catalog, but you did it outside of Lightroom in, let's say, Photoshop or On1 Photo, those changes should still be reflected inside of Lightroom. In some cases, it takes an extra step to see those changes. In other cases, it does not. I'll start out with a DNG file, and this is the same for either DNG or RAW photos. Let me go ahead and open this image in its finder, so I'll go ahead and view it inside of its original folder, and I'm going to open it into Photoshop. I'll just go to File Open, and the image opens up into Adobe Camera Raw. I'll convert this to grayscale so we can see an obvious change and click Done. And then if I go back into Lightroom, my file is there, but no changes have been made. In order to actually see these changes, I need to scan the metadata of this file. So I'll go up to that image, right click, go to Metadata, and select Read Metadata from File. A window will pop up and it's basically asking me if I want to overwrite whatever I've done in Lightroom with whatever I have done outside of Lightroom. And that is what I want to do, so I'll click Read. And then it read that I changed the color properties to black and white, and it's reflecting that in the preview. Of course, I could have just as easily made this change inside of Lightroom. I could even press V on my keyboard, which is the shortcut to convert to grayscale. But if you found yourself having to work on your files outside of Lightroom and Photoshop, that's the step you'll need to take in order to show those changes inside of the Lightroom catalog. Working off of a PSD, however, should automatically update those changes. Let's go ahead and view this one in the Finder. This is a PSD file I've already done some editing to inside of Photoshop. I'll do Command-O to open the file in Photoshop. And just like before, let's go ahead and just convert this quickly to black and white. I'll save the file and close it. Now if I go back into Lightroom, those edits are immediately updated to reflect that change.